What is going on, YouTube? You're about to one and you're about to another Transformers video review. And today, we will be taking a look at the Transformers last night, Voyager class, Megatron. Now, this figure does come with a few accessories, um, really just one. But uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging. For the packaging, you got Transformers. You got a epic look um, at Megatron here. He's even smiling, which is really kind of creepy. As you can see, them sharp teeth in there. Um, you got Megatron, you got Transformers Last Night, ages 8 and up. Um, you got Voyager Class on the side, it was a wraparound image. And, um, move Megatron just a little bit. You got a, um, awesome image of Megatron, it says he's a merciless tyrant. And, come around to the back here. Uh, you just got more artwork image, and it also says that Autobot Hound's available, and it tells you what you get with the figure. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, I think that's everything for the packaging. I like the artwork inside. Uh, on the bottom, you got stuff, and on the top, you got stuff. So let's take a look at this uh, um, one accessory real quick. This is a very nice detailed sword, and I like it, honestly. Um, very nice. It's made of a nice plastic. You can hear the plastic. I uh, got a little tab right there, and if you come to the jet itself, it's got a tab on the top, but we'll get into that weapon storage later. Now, here he is in jet mode. I honestly love this jet mode. It is very nice, very sleek, very alien-y, and it looks great from the top, and if you look at it from the front, it looks very, very cool. Um, one of the things that it has over the leader class is the paint detail on this thing and how he transforms it's amazing now he does have some visible foot syndrome but I guess you could pretend those are like extra backup thrusters or something it doesn't really bother me because I display this guy in his robot mode um this guy he's finally gotten the respect he needs as a opposite of Optimus um you're taking a look at some of the detail on this thing you got nice little turrets I love the cockpit area just looks very alien-y and very un- like a very unearthly jet piece. Um, you got um, some nice mustard yellow turbines in there. You got the jet intake. Um, you got some nice uh, details on the wings here. You got um, some details up here. And you got like these uh, jet thrusters in the back. Um, yeah, you come around to the underneath. Not the neatest of jets underneath, but I must admit is still very good. Now talking about weapon storage. There is a tab right here, see if I can't get my camera to zoom in, there is a tab on the back of the sword, you just tab the two together, and uh, if you tab it in, it tabs in quite nice, nicely, um, as you can see, very tight, um, very cool, um, but to transform Megatron here, what you're going to need to do, is you're going to come to these, this section uh, these two parts right here, these will um, lift up. If you can move the, um, untab the legs, well, what will be the wet legs, but are the wings. Excuse me, I can't talk today. But then you're going to take these, these will lift up, and then I like to grab it by the bottom, but you take that, move it out, and then you rotate this whole section right here according to um, the um, transformation. It's kind of hard to loosen it up, but once you do, it's very easy. Take it, rotate it. And another thing with this figure, the transformation is quite fun once you figure it out and very compact when in robot mode. I am quite impressed with this guy's transformation. But anyway, moving on, we come around to the legs here. The legs are pretty simple. What you do is that the foot tabs into the wing, you're going to untab that. And rotate the foot out and then swivel the um, actual foot itself. Then you're going to come around to the legs. There's a tab right here and a tab hole. The whole wing section will just bend and wrap around his thigh. And that will just peg in just like so. Do that on both sides. Untab the foot. Rotate it out. And then fold the foot. Rotate the wing around accordingly. Just as so. Then you're going to take these skirt pieces and you're going to move these up just like so. And um, you're going to take this whole section right here. This will help form the back. You're going to take that up, raise it halfway just like so. 
And you're going to move these pieces, which will be the chest pieces, in robot mode. You're just going to move these. And you're going to move the um, arms about halfway. Um, according like so now to finish off the back section here you're going to just take this entire cockpit section make sure this is loose like this or else you won't get good clearance and the figure might break over time uh, straighten out the legs real quick put these pieces down you're going to um, just slide the back end according like so fold that um, cockpit piece back up straighten out the figure Once you do that, rotate the head around and click the arms together just like so. Fold around the fusion cannon. I know, Megatron's finally got a fusion cannon. You're going to take the hands, which are just on the inside of his arm. You're just going to fold those out just like so. And ka -chow. Here we have the amazingly evil looking Megatron in all of his just night and evil looking glory it's just a great figure and like i said the transformation packs up very nicely as you can see you got some bits here and some these side skirt pieces the makeup the tops of the jet makeup side skirt pieces and everything else this figure is quite amazing not to mention he can hold this huge sword which makes him look even more evil and just oh it just looks amazing um this definitely beats the leader class version by a long shot. Now, there is a few paint apps I would like uh, on the skirt pieces here, but that's uh, just more nitpicky stuff. Um, unlike his um, counterpart with Optimus, he does not have, like, as you can see here, um, the thighs are not um, as big as the Optimus figures were. Um, his had a lot of back kibble. And um, I just want to show you a few things here in a second. But um, as you can see, just an amazing looking figure. Outstanding um, for Hasbro. Definitely is the best version of Megatron I have in my collection. And I'm very happy to have him. Um, taking a look at some of the detail here. We got some very nice um, uh, detail going on here. Like I said, I like these this bit. I guess it kind of looks like, like a gold ring around them. Then... This is just what I love about this mode, too. It's just this, the fusion cannon, and the head sculpt. This just looks amazing and looks very transformery, um, I guess. And then you got the fusion cannon here, uh, which looks very nice. And if you look inside there, and let me get my flashlight, you can actually see down the barrel. As you can see there, it looks very awesome um, indeed. And you got sort of an asymmetry look to it. Let me see if I can't... Raise the camera up a little bit more. I'm trying to get everything set up. Um, but let's uh, move the little, we'll bend the legs just so I can show you the rest of the body. As you can see, got evil face sculpt. Um, and uh, if you look at the, if you take a flashlight or if you have any sort of light, you get light piping with this guy. Oh, that just looks so evil. It really screams Megatron, and as you can see, nice detail all over the figure. Um, you do have some, like I said, you got a thorn here, and you don't have a thorn here. You got a bit of a more uh, smooth arm here, and a different arm here. And the figure just looks amazing, and sort of just, it really just, just screams Megatron, and how he should have gotten a figure a long time ago. And it just really represents how he looked in the movie. I'm very... Highly impressed with this figure. I saw him on toy reviews and I was like, you know what? This is a figure I need to have in my collection since I love the last night. And if you don't have any last night Megatrons or any Megatron at all, this is the guy I highly recommend you pick up. Very nice figure, as you can see all around. For articulation on this figure, you got a bend at the elbow. You got a outward movement at the arm. There is this little shorter piece, but um, unfortunately it's not spring-loaded, but like I said, nitpicky, nitpicky stuff. You got 360 rotation at the arm. Same with the other arm. You got a ball joint at the head, um, just like that, I guess. You got bend at the knee. Uh, these side skirts will move out, just like so, and you get some outward movement at the knee. Skirts move forward. You can get some forward, backward movement. On the character if you have everything moved out of the way um 
You got bend at the knee, which is very good. You got swivel at the thigh. And that about covers everything for the figure. Now, I want to show you this real quick. This is the Optimus Prime figure. And um, as you can see, it's a lot of stuff on the leg. And I'm, I'm going to compare this. As you can see, a lot more stuff on this version of Optimus. And this Megatron has less. And I know he's a truck. Let's see if I can't straighten the legs. But I know he's a truck and all. And it's kind of hard to hide truck parts. But just look how much more better this version is. Or this version is compared to this Optimus figure. And um, he does have weapon storage on his back. I'll just show it while he's facing that way. He's got a little tab here. Same with the sword. Uh, just tabs in quite nicely. I just love this figure. All in all, it just looks amazing, feels amazing, and is just an epic looking figure. Like I said, you can look into the fusion cannon. You got arm articulation. These skirt pieces look amazing to me for some reason. It just looks evil. Um, like I said, just a highly recommended figure. Um, if you don't, like I said earlier, if you don't have a Megatron in your collection, I highly recommend picking this guy up. Um, if you're now just getting into the Transformer toy line, Highly, highly, if you ever see this guy on shelves and you don't have a Megatron in your collection, highly recommend this guy. Just an amazing looking figure. But that wraps up everything for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down in the comment section below what I should do next. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.